Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22, and this is the Steiger ST Series 3 by Blug, Bel, Belog 2003. This is 19.00 megabytes to download and 17 slots on console for the tractor, and we have a couple of attachments with it, a blade, and a tank attachment, uh, one and two slots, so very slow, slow, very low on the slot count there. Right, so first of all, let's find it in the store, under vehicles, large tractors. And here it is, the Case Agriculture Steiger ST Series 2, $80,000 to purchase, which is not too bad, up to 350 horsepower manual transmission, 1100 or 1010 liters of fuel capacity 15 miles per hour 12.3 tons right so as you could tell there is a couple of color options we have the original green bearcat model we also have the spirit of 76 model and of course a pink panther model oh yes a pink one uh very nice um so uh a thousand bucks for the spirit model and uh 900 for the pink panther model now we have wheel brands of trelleborg michelin continental BT, bkt nokian vertestein and trelleborg in trelleborg we have twins and we have a couple of uh, five five different choices in Trelleborg uh, twins and sizes of if we move over to Michelin we have narrows dual narrows and triple narrows which is very nice like that uh, standard two standard three twins and back to your standard continental we have twins and standard BKT standard and smaller with twins kind of a bit of a choice there I guess uh, Nokian we have standard and twin Snokian Snokian twin Nokian tires very nice you don't often see twin Nokians that's it for that and then a Vertistein standard standard two just those two and then back to Trelleborg. So with the twins, $500. Let's see what the triples, 300 bucks. So very cheap on the wheel choices for sure. Um, oh yes, Pink Panther, 310 horsepower is the only option. Uh, if we go Spirit of 76 or Original Green, we get a choice of engines, which is 220, 225, 250, 270, 280, 310, 320, and 325, and then 350. So some interesting engine choices, depending on the engine. I'm sure there was um, multiple um models engine it looks like we have c i don't know what these numbers mean there's a vt a v8 some v8 probably a variety of different manufacturers available engines but if you pick the pink panther you only get the 310 horsepower model so just so you know that uh, moving back down to axles, which is also an interesting, we have the RBK three nine or five nine eight, and then we have the STR DN I'm DNA Dyna maybe, and then the RB. So three different styles of axles. I don't I don't know if there is any difference. It doesn't seem to change anything. There possibly could be, I'm not sure. Beacon light, yes or no. Attachers, now this is where uh, we have some of the, uh, we have the, oh, sorry, three point link. Yes, so we have a three point link or standard. That's the back attacher, the front loader attacher. No, it is, does not have your standard front loader. It has the dozer blade attachments, which, which, which we will show 
a front attacher that has a pin hitch and a mounted fertilizer adapter. Let's buy this because uh, I didn't have a front attacher one uh, out there. So uh, let's take a look at the accessories. Whoops, over here. Now, um, I did not, I found them under, okay, hold on. All right, so the blade you're going to find under levelers. Here it is, the Steiger Dozer blade for Series 3, $3,000, 4 meters in width, 630 kilograms. If we take a look at it, we have the green, the Spirit of 76, or the pink. So you can choose any one of those colors uh, to match your tractor, or you could just go with a black yeah, so there is a black option if you don't like the pink, the blue, or the green. So there is an extra black option. No charge for that. Now, as for the tanks, we're going to have to find that under sprayers. And here we are, the mounted fertilizer tank. So that's herbicide or liquid fertilizer, 600 liters capacity, $3,000. We do have the main color of green. We have a yellow choice, a red, blue orange it looks very much like the yellow and a light blue which doesn't match well the blue matches the spirit of 76 and the green matches the stagger but we don't have a pink for some reason and color is not going to change charge you anything for changing the color right okay um let's let's do a quick test on that hitch first we have our standard pin hitch and our ball hitch. And if we hop into here very quickly, we, we can show you whilst we're here, there isn't any, you can't open the doors or windows or anything like that. We have lights, we have the beacon. Uh, signals. No signals. We have quite a few light. Oh, there's the signals up top. Left and right signal. Is that up on the top? On the Oh, there we go. Uh, interior, you have a nice uh, signal indicator there. Quite dark. It's all black, as I'm sure it was um, originally. Right, so let's get bounced back out here. Uh, seems to handle fairly nice. The um, steering is quite responsive. It's not too slow. We'll talk about the the gears in a moment. Pin hitch, as we can see, is very good. It attaches. And ball hitch to the front, no. So it is a pin hitch only, not a surprise. Now, let's talk about the gears for a moment. It is a manual transmission. I have it set to automatic in these settings. So just driving around 15 miles, 16 miles per hour in high gear, that's as fast as you're gonna go. Now, to be quite honest, this is probably going to work a little bit better with, um, as you can see, the the articulate, the, it twists, you know, it'll, it'll adjust to ground. has a bit of a twist to the uh, uh, to the frame so that's very nice it's not super stiff or anything like that yeah so um, if you're using the manual shift uh, this is probably going to work much better for a manually shifted tractor now let's hop into here with the blade I have the blade attached to just the 220 and we'll show you that now to, to attach that it comes like so and you have to have the blade attachment chosen configured to the tractor if you want to use this blade that's very simple there drive forward the uh, trigger pops up and L1 and right stick raises that up and down and that's all there is to it very nice that there's an option like that Right, so if we come forward to a uh, 
say you want to use it for leveling which is typically what one would probably use it for or snow clearing I guess but I would uh, typically think this uh, you would use this for leveling and it seems to uh, seems to work okay it's not it doesn't push stuff out of the way um, like I say as much as some others I've seen that's lowered all the way down so it's it's not grabbing a lot but it is it is doing the job though be it somewhat slowly so let's hop over here to the pink panther and show you the tank hooking up start this up back it up a little bit so the tank comes like so now how do you tell which way is the front I don't really know I've kinda just went normally and like there and it hooks up like so let's uh, let's just do a quick uh, drive around and see if it hooks up the other way now the pink panther model yeah same inside very dark can't really see anything in there I and and as I said it's likely uh, was an all-black interior and it was just that's the way they were so uh, does it hook up no so if you don't get it to hook up on the one side uh, you've got the wrong side uh, just one thing to note uh, when you're going from forward to reverse it takes a second it's like yeah it's uh it's really slow shifting if if that's how you want to if you want to de it described it is so i filled this up with uh herbicide no no so liquid fertilizer so what that does is give you an extra 600 liters of capacity if you want to uh, uh if you're using it for well whatever you want to use it for a sprayer or if your cedar or planter carry uh, takes liquid fertilizer as you can see here we can empty it it empties really fast and then filling up is pretty easy I didn't have to do anything special just come on uh, come up under a by point and as you can see herbicide or liquid fertilizer it instantly fills up at that one and away you go so how does it perform in the field that's an excellent question let's hop over here this is the out of the box standard one the 220 uh, with a appropriately horsepower rated um, cultivator and um, so well, let's hop in here and start it just wanted to show you a turnaround at the end so we'll, we'll hire a worker and away he goes and as you can tell it's gonna go through the gear gear choices kind of slow it has a low low um, transfer it's, it's got a transfer case so it's got a low and a high and then it has five gears so you see it does a little wiggle thing backing up now that's something that was really annoying in farm sim 19 I haven't seen it a whole lot in 22 for the articulate it was particular to the articulated tractors and this one does it a little bit it's it's a slightly annoying but it's not debilitating like uh like it was uh with some of the tractors before as you can see it does a little swiggle but it backs up fine enough it doesn't spend a whole lot of time backing up and uh it'll be on its way And uh, as you can see, it starts off quite slowly. It's going into the low gears, goes up to the fifth gear, then transitions to uh, high gear. And that's where it kind of uh, actually it does pretty good this time. Oh, it's dropped down a gear, so it's 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 going at nine miles per hour, which is better than it was before. It was it was it was kind of struggling to find the right gear. Now again, like I said these tractors are probably better suited to uh, a manual transmission setting on your um, for your controls 
I just don't I don't like using the manual transmission right so if we pop over to here I have a spirit of 76 with the 300 and uh, 20 horsepower a uh, 350 the 350 horsepower and I have a 375 horsepower cultivator on there and uh, this one's not too bad though it, it does bring it up to the eight miles per hour but here it does it it, it wanted to shift right into high right away in fifth gear and it it kind of like stalled out a little bit so it will eventually get up to the eight miles per hour which is not too bad for something that's too big for it and it tends to settle in at this uh fourth gear in high range sorry range that's what i was looking for before uh the high range uh transmission setting and fourth gear and it'll torque along at eight miles per hour and it'll do the same turnaround thing where it kind of wiggles a little bit as it turns around we'll show you a little bit here once it ends to the field and it's going to pull forward a little bit back up oh it's not doing the little wiggle thing so much a little bit uh, because it's pulling a bigger cultivator it'll do the wiggle thing a little i'm just going to stop it right there it's a little bit painful to watch these guys turn around so slowly but anyways uh this interior is no different on any of the various tractors and there you have it that is the Steiger ST series 3 by Belog 2003 19 megabytes to download and 17 slots on console one and two slots for the accessories a nice uh, a nice interesting old classic tractor uh, for you to play with Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.